Hi everybody, so today I'm going to show you how to know the sign of a quadratic function. So a quadratic function is a function such as f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c. Just like this. Yes. So to find the sign of such a function, we need to calculate the discriminant in order to find the roots. If you don't remember how to do, you can watch the corresponding video. So we have three cases. Case 1 there is no roots. So the board is like this. From negative infinite to infinite, the function has the same sign that the sign of a. So let's take some examples. First, there is a function 3x squared plus x plus 3. And you can see that there is no intersection point between the function and the x-axis. Here, we have a function with a negative, negative 2, x squared, minus x, minus 1. There is also no intersection point between the function and the x-axis. So let's see the two examples in board. So f of x, 3x squared plus x plus 3. So the a is a positive one. So all the board is a positive. G of x equal negative 2 x squared minus x minus 1. There is a minus just here. So a big minus in my board. So let's see the case 2. Here there is only one root. Uh, let's call it x0 for example. So in the board we have from negative infinite to x0 the sign of a x0, 0, and from the x0 to infinite, the sign of a2. So let's see some examples. Here is a function such as x squared plus 4x plus 4, the graph of which has only one intersection point with the x-axis. So the intersection point is here. And now we have the function negative 3x squared minus 6x minus 3. Uh, we have a root at minus 1. So x squared plus 4x plus 4 has a a positive. So we have plus 0 plus. And here negative 3x squared minus 6x minus 3 as a, a negative so it's minus a, a sign minus so negative zero zero negative okay so that was just to show you that in these two cases the sign of the function is the sign of a there is no difference okay so let's see the case three in this case there is two roots let's call it x1 and x2 for example we have, um, how to say, we can sum up all the possibilities uh, of board that you can see in only one, like this. So, for x from negative infinite to x1, it's a sign of a. x1 give a 0. From x1 to x2, it's a sign of negative a. Be careful with this. And x2 gives a 0 also. From x2 to infinite, it's a sign of a. So you have sign of a, 0, sign of negative a, 0, sign of a. Let's see some examples. So here, there is a graph of the function g of x equal x squared minus x minus 6. There is two intersection points just here. Okay. So you see, here it's positive. Intersection point negative, intersection point positive. We have a positive, so it gave sign of a zero, sign of negative a zero, sign of a. Yeah. So here there is a function p of x equal negative x squared plus 18x minus 72. Sorry. So the two intersection point. The a equals negative 1, so there is negative 0, positive 0, 
negative. Let's see this with the border. So x squared minus x minus 6 give this. So you have plus 0, negative 0, plus. So it's positive, then negative, then positive. Here it's negative x squared plus 18x minus 72 that give negative, 0, positive, 0, and negative. Wish you the best and good luck for your exercise.